Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is in collaboration with Love Me Hair and this is just some of the goodies that they sent along in the box with the wig and this is the actual wig right here. So they sent me out their 20 inch body wave full lace wig and this wig features their new undetectable lace which is supposed to be super thin and super seamless and just look really natural looking so I was super excited to try this wig out. So now I'm just going in and I'm going to bleach my knots. I'm using BW2 bleaching powder and 30 volume developer. And I'm just showing you the consistency that I like my bleach to be. So I like it to be more on a thicker side so that it doesn't seep through the lace and end up dyeing the hair blonde. So I'm using a butter knife to spread this bleach on really gently. And I'm going to let it sit for about 20 minutes and then we're going to rinse it out, shampoo it, and move it on to the next step which is going to be to pluck the hairline. So after the wig is done processing, I'm going to go ahead and shampoo it and condition it with the Shimmer Light Shampoo. And the Shimmer Light Shampoo helps to get out any brassiness from um, bleaching the knots. Now I'm going in to pluck the hairline and I like to use mousse on the hairline before I pluck it because I feel like it makes the hair just like a lot slicker and it makes it easier to see the shape of the hairline that I'm doing. So um, this hair, this wig did come pre-plucked, but I always go in and customize it a little bit more to my liking. But I didn't have to pluck much at all because um, they did a really good job with this hairline. So when I normally pluck my wigs, I always like to start behind the hairline because that's where the wig is going to be the most dense. And I like to pluck in sections. So I start in one section, pluck out a few strands, even move to the another to the um, next section you don't want to pluck in the same section for too long because that's how you create bald spots so um, I start in one section pluck out a few strands move to the next section pluck out a few strands and then comb all of the hair out and then I repeat the process um, about two to three times throughout the wig so you see me making another part and I'm gonna pluck behind that hairline and then I'll probably make one more part and pluck behind that hairline again So I do like to go in and pluck a little bit on the actual hairline just to thin it out and make it look more natural looking. And now we're moving on to the styling process. I did not record myself installing this wig because I didn't want this video to be super long but you can watch any of my previous hair videos to see how I install my wig. But right now I'm just using my hot comb to like smooth everything out and get it nice and flat. And then I'm going to go in with some concealer and some eyeshadow to define my part a little bit more.
I decided to throw some wand curls in this hair just because this wig was more on a thinner side. I believe the density of this wig is like 150 and I like my hair to be like really full and thick and this wig just was not giving me that at all so um, I added some curls in there to make the hair appear more fuller and thicker. <laughs> I'm going in with my got to be free spray and I'm going to use this to smooth out any flyaways and I'm also going to spray it on the hair so that the curls have a stronger hold and now we're moving on to the makeup I did include a little makeup tutorial in this video because I know y'all missed the makeup video so I'm going to try my best to incorporate more makeup looks with these hair videos but um yeah, I'm not really going to talk through this portion. Y'all know I don't like to talk through my makeup videos or whatever. But all the products and stuff will be linked down in my description box. So I'm going to shut up and I'm going to let you guys watch this little makeup tutorial. And I'll be back to give you my final thoughts and opinions about this wig. Be crazy. No, I'll keep you grounded and you want it, baby. Just get yourself around it now. Never be like the girls you had before me Cause you got a good thing going And I know you'll adore me And he says Maybe I'll keep ya On the low for times when I feel like wasting time alone And maybe, maybe I'll please ya or get kind of crazy then he said fuck me and feed me and i'll be your diamond if you never leave me girl then i'll keep on trying and you can get crazy cause you keep me grounded so if you want it baby then get yourself around and i'll then feed me and fuck fuck then feed me and fuck fuck then feed me then feed me And I won't be crazy No, I'll keep you grounded And you want it, baby Just get yourself around Fuck, fuck, then feed me And 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 I won't be crazy No, I'll keep you grounded And you want it, baby Just get yourself around And I Porque estás en parada conmigo, ¿qué ha pasado, mi amor? ¿Qué tal estás, guapo? Porque estás en parada conmigo, ¿qué ha pasado, mi amor? ¿Qué tal Okay y'all so we've made it to the end of the video and here you see me just trying to like fluff up the hair and get it to like look a little thicker because I still wasn't satisfied about the density of this wig. That's the only like negative thing I have to say about this wig is I wish I would have got a thicker density 
but um that's like a personal preference thing other than that like this wig is super beautiful um, my favorite part about this wig is probably the lace because it literally is undetectable like it looks so natural and it just melts so seamlessly into the skin so shout out to love me hair y'all did that this lace is absolutely amazing don't forget to check them out everything will be linked down in my description box below and i hope you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and all that good stuff and i will see you guys in my next one bye